Hello everybody, welcome to Couch Potato Exploration. Please like and subscribe. Today we are going to be visiting Green River Missile Complex, Rocket Complex, out in uh, Green River, Utah. We found more buildings out here. kicked right through this wall so we're gonna make it our new uh, door it's a big warehouse you guys think is this where the uh, missiles the rockets were stored kind of looks like a place for something like that. So far building one strike out, nothing good in it. Still got these guys out here though. Nice cut in the fence. That looks like it's gonna be our entrance. Pretty much got it out, empty building. This one's a little closer to the city, and this one seems to have a little bit more graffiti and all that. So I'm guessing it gets visited a little bit more often. Check out the tracks coming in from the uh, door. A bird up there that just scared me. <laughs> Bunch of workbenches. Pretty decent sized workbenches, actually. Not an exit. Well, we're gonna go through there. Inside of the bay door. Nothing back there. So that was the hallway down where we were just at. So yeah, these buildings have been heavily vandaled. There's uh, not really a whole lot. Like I said, they're closer to the city, uh, Green River, Utah. building down here and the gates are wide open to this place so we just drove right in
to start off with this little, I don't know if it's a shed or what it is over here. Some kind of steel shed. So that door over there is wide open. So I'm guessing that's how we're gonna, that's our ticket in. All right, here we go. Birds are scary. They, uh, they're kind of creepy when they're locked in a building with you. That one went nowhere. Basically like a workshop. Same thing here. buying it. There's got to be more to this place. Door, no windows. Looks like an entrance to me. But actually, I think the door is actually open. To the right, we got just an open room. Sorry about the windsock in the uh, corner of this video. I think it's been there the whole day. So from the outside, it looked bigger. I'm not too sure. all separated there's a big four on this building here this guy's got some pretty big size on him So this is inside the bay four. And I'm guessing the other warehouse is probably gonna be just the same thing. Oh, well, maybe not, we got some stairs. A little creepy in here. It's an open room. Looks like it's got an exit. I can see the sunlight on the other side. Close the area. Another open room. 
keep it clean up on the wall. Oh man. Look like these uh, windows had some cages on them. Check out this door. Steel too. Doesn't really go anywhere though. Maybe in the office building. All right, so I passed a couple buildings coming in. I wanted to go to the furthest one first in case I get kicked out. So I am gonna work my way back into town, which is actually uh, right over there. But on my way in, I'm gonna hit those few buildings. And we'll see if there's anything cool to look at over there. I don't know, I see a lot of these foundations out here. I don't know if it's for them to set the rockets on or if it has anything to do with the rocket. So far, there seem to be a lot of these little platforms out here. There goes that wind. Alright guys, I'll be with you in a second. I'm going to drive down to the other buildings and see what we can find. Does anybody know exactly what's going on with these things? I uh, just visited a site. That was supposed to be a uh, missile base in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and it's the same setup. You have the poles with the lights all the way around. And just the concrete slabs. So was there something sitting in place that I, I'm not seeing or... Did the rockets just sit on the concrete slabs? Anybody know exactly how it worked? Because I am seeing probably a threshold for a door that used to be here. But I've actually seen many setups like this in Wyoming, so it's got my curiosity now. Right, so we just left that building up on the hill right there came down the road a little bit we got this little shack right here but it's locked up pretty good then it just looks like it goes into a couple warehouse buildings this one's pretty small right here you can almost see right through the thing manhole popped looks like it doesn't go anywhere Fire hydrant. Yeah, that one you can see right through to the wall. There's nothing in there. We're getting closer and closer to the city and the houses, so we'll see how long before someone tells us to get out. entered the front warehouse building it's actually fairly large
Nothing in here though. I think my light burned out. You guys think that was maybe where you check in? The old metal door. Once you get through that, got a big roller door here. I think that set up right over here. That's going to be our next stop. That's probably the uh, last of it. This right here is just like a receiving bay for uh, semi trucks. So let's push over next door and see what we can find. This one actually looked a little bit cooler. It has a checkpoint gate up in the front. First building on that property is just another warehouse. So I'm not sure what was going on here or what they were doing, but I think it's all warehousing here. I don't think nothing too exciting left here. Anybody know the history? It's uh, I believe white sand. Green River, Utah. The reception desk. Good reading, help yourself. Was this a library? You know what, I think it was. Got a lot of shelves here. Then I don't know, cause it just, right back to warehousing. fence with the bob wire to keep you out. That's one of the doors laying on the ground to give you an idea of how large they are.
Another big open warehouse. Definitely interesting. We got a room with a cage on it, maybe a tool room or something. And then we got a pit here. If I had to guess, I think that's for maybe oil changes. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably wrong, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a quick dip into the ground and we're in like a service garage. There's another one on this side right here. One thing about Utah, unlike LA where I live, is everything's halfway in tech. In LA, for some reason, uh, everybody finds the need to vandal out the buildings and leave nothing left. ride out here. Looks like there was a flagpole over there. Sitting on the hill. So it looks like there might be another building out there. I'm gonna hop in the truck because it'll be a little bit of a walk to get to it. But it might be active. Actually still looks like there's recent activity on it. it doesn't quite look as vandaled out or abandoned as the rest of the place so i will get back with you in a few seconds here. all right so here is the last building up on the hill and it says do not enter Too sure what that building or that silo is right there. Oh, there's a door open back here. All right, so a bird just flew at me coming out of the dark. We're gonna try this again. dark in here my light died like that other building we have a split door doesn't look like it really goes anywhere another warehouse building sorry guys it's a little dark We got a storage rack. Oh, fucking bet. Damn bet, sorry. <laughs> a little bit more brighter on this side of the warehouse. Yeah, so this was a workshop. See right here it says C clamps. Got some hooks to hang the tools. And we got some more of those tunnels like the other 
warehouse. Hopefully this door over here works because I don't want to see any more bats. Oh, I'm not leaving here. This is a restroom. Got the bathroom stall over here. Still got the shower curtain hanging. Steel. Let me see. I don't know. Should I crawl out this door? You guys think I'll make it? Kitchen. That's what I'm guessing. So we got some kind of paperwork. Let's get this out in the sun. You can see what it is. Just like a Service shop receipts or something. Some kind of receipts. All the other ones you could see they didn't want nobody in here they got the bob wire to keep you out all right so we came over here to the silo just up above that building we were just in I, um, i'm guessing it's just a water silo Whatever this is going on in here. And then this same setup basically is in that little shed right there. So nothing too interesting to see. Right here in this area, it looks like it was made for maybe like kickball, volleyball net. It's built it out of poles and chicken coop. Looking at is we also have this uh, basketball hoop right here. So does anybody know what it was? Was it a school? Possibly? Or was this just out here to keep our uh, military guys busy? Then we got the stairs too. Let's find out. <laughs> Couple foundations. Some kind of buildings pretty set right here.
got some kind of sign. Chapel Theater. So here's the slabs. One over there, one right here, and then a larger size one down here. But I don't see much more to actually look at, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and like always, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you again.